In this video, we compare the advantages and disadvantages of fixed point and floating point forms in terms of range, precision, and speed of calculation. With the fixed point representation, the range depends on the position of the binary point. The more digits to the left of the binary point, the greater the range, but the lower the position. And the precision obviously then depends again on the position of the binary point. The more digits to the right of the binary point, the greater the precision, but this time at the cost of the range. In terms of calculation speed, a fixed point number is simpler to calculate, and the processing speeds tend to be faster. For floating point numbers, when it comes to range, we can represent very large numbers and very small fractions. The more bits used for the exponent this time, the greater the range. We also have a much greater range of numbers when using the same number of bits when it comes to precision. The more bits we use the mantissa, the greater the possible precision. When it comes to calculating speeds, with floating point, the point first needs to be calculated and moved. Even with CPUs that use hardware floating point circuitry, this still takes longer to calculate and process. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are the advantages and disadvantages of fixed point and floating point forms in terms of range, precision, and speed of calculation?